What is going on, everyone? Tim from Tier Farm Orbital. So today I would like to talk about an install that I finished on an SP Sabres Doom, right? So that's all I've got. There's no fanfare or anything like that. Uh, but I do want to come into Fusion and talk about the chassis for this one. To my absolute surprise, this hilt sounds really really, really good, right? Uh, so I do want to, like I said, I want to come into Fusion. We'll talk about the chassis a little bit. Then we'll come up top, talk about how to use the hilt. And then of course, we'll put a blade in it. And then we will be on our way, right? So the uh, Kanan's hilt, Kanan Jarrus' hilt is actually one of my uh, favorite hilts. Um, one of my favorite hilt designs. Uh, so uh, doing the uh, installing these and designing chassis for them uh, is something that I always enjoy, right? So like I said, this hilt is a, it's a great sounding hilt. I do want to talk about the chassis, so I'm going to stop rambling. Let's come into Fusion. Okay, so here is the chassis, right? Fully f removable chassis. Everything is on board the chassis. Uh, the pixel connector, lit PCB rather, uh, the switches are all on board. So the whole chassis is removable, right? So I chose to do this whole chassis in resin. Again, um, the internal diameter of this hilt is all is 28 millimeters all the way through so i was able to get a very robust chassis so i chose to go with resin on this one so i did a lot of excuse me greebly work on both sides of the chassis okay 28 millimeter speaker at the bottom here here is our battery tray now there are two square rectangular rather leds on board this chassis. And this is how we light the uh, red and green arrows in the control box of this hilt. This is one of the characteristics of Kanan's hilts. Uh, one of the things I actually love about his hilts along with the removable emitter, right? So uh, this is what we light those arrows with, okay? Above the battery tray is our profi board tray. And then we have a kill switch underneath that profi tray as well. This is a single button setup for this hilt. There is a red button, a red tactile button up here. And this is what the switch at the top of the hilt makes a connection to. And then making our way up top, of course, we have our PCB, lit PCB emitter, right? So the way that I designed this particular chassis, I designed it such that uh, the emitter section or the SUBA section is removable, right? So even though this lit PCB connection or uh, hilt side pixel connector, connector is up here. This is not actually what makes a connection to the blade. There is a secondary pixel connector in the emitter section or the SUBA connection or the SUBA section that will make a connection to the blade. And I'll, we'll talk about that in more in, in detail when we come up top. But I wanted to make the emitter section removable, right? Um, so... Uh, this is essentially just a blade connector, right? But I chose to use a pixel connector for that. Okay. And that's it. Nice and easy. Let's come up top. All right. So here it is. The Doom from SP Sabres. Okay. Right. So let's talk about how to use this guy. Okay. So one of the things that I also did for this install was put a pommel spacer in the pommel, right? So I wanted to maximize the amount of resonance in this pommel. So there is a pommel spacer in here, and this helps to also keep the chassis in place, obviously, right? So just to the customer, take note of that. That is in the pommel, right? Another thing to take note of, right? This uh, switch is not spring-loaded, right? So it can get caught up on the chassis. So take note of that when taking the chassis out and putting it in. So to take the chassis out, I also like to remove this emitter section. And then you can kind of just push the chassis out. Okay. A lot of moving parts in this one. So here is the chassis. I chose to keep it matte black. Okay. Battery tray is here. There are those two lit LEDs, green and red. Profi board, obviously, kill switch. Relatively simple setup, okay? So let's use this guy, right? So to, to use it, why did I repeat myself? <laughs> 
All right, so to use this guy, you wanna take your battery, flat part of your battery is the negative, negative is down towards this speaker, hit your kill switch. Okay, and once you hit your kill switch, now you can put the chassis into the hilt. Now point that switch down, line this red tactile switch up with that switch, and it will kind of line up with this trench that is in the chassis, okay? It'll kind of find its way home. And then you can, you can take that pommel spacer out and kind of put it in the end of the hilt if you want, and then thread the pommel on. There are those lit arrows. Now that is why I did the emitter like that. So it's, it's removable, right? And then you can just thread your emitter in place and you're ready to go. Really great sounding hill. Okay. So let's come down to the bottom. Probably breezed over that a little bit quicker than I should have. That little PCB holder that kind of lives in the emitter, just take note of that. There's no like set screw that's holding that in place. It just kind of press fits in there when you thread it in place. Okay, but it just kind of lives it just lives in the emitter, right? So it can be removed. All right. There are those lit arrows in that control box. One of the cool features of Kanan's hilt. Let's put a blade in it. All right, so this is a one inch blade blade holder. You wanna rest your blade on those PCB pins. There is a set screw around front here, a little grub screw that will serve as your blade retention. Just tighten that so it's hugging your blade and you are ready to go. See what else we got on here. So this is a single button profi setup. To uh, scroll through your fonts, you want a long press of this main button and release. Okay. One more. Lord Vader. Yeah, this is a good sounding hill. And that's it. That is the Doom from SP Sabres. Love that about Kanan's Hilt, right? So anyhow, to the customer, thank you very much for your patience and trusting me with this install. If anyone has any questions about this particular install, please do not be a stranger. I did have some inquiries about this particular chassis. I will be adding it to my online chassis index. I have been so terrible with adding these to my website. I am getting so busy and I do forget to do that. So if anyone has any requests and I forget to do it and you're not seeing uh, the chassis that you want, on my website, you can ping me, feel free to ping me and remind me and say, hey Tim, you forgot to do that. Please add this chassis because I, I have so much going on that I tend to forget to do things. So uh, yeah, so anyhow, with all of that out of the way, thank you for watching. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Thanks for watching everybody.